off, taking advantage of the lead, keeping this couple character length, character length distance between the two of them. And then just from where that cloud was positioned and that angle of that line, knew she could sneak underneath it and closed out Penguin in an, in an RCS event again. I mean, this is, you know, two tournaments back to back now. Yeah, three one two. Last time it was three two. This time it's three one. Cheesy, punching her way into top eight over a huge name. And, and it's, that's, it's, if that doesn't tell you how this bracket is going to shape up, I don't know what will. When you have Ch and Penguin ninth in an online bracket like this, I, I, what do you want from that? What else you can let's just do it. Yeah, no, I mean it shows that this is an are... insane, insane character tag. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah that is that's tap scott for you baby then hey. one of the two people in our final set here loses top eight qualifiers we've got tap scott and we've got bucket another up-and-coming player that just kind of rocketed out of nowhere mm -hmm. started making uh, another person who was from Gom who was at gommel got 13th there had a really close game five set with onesie and unfortunately was eliminated there but we're seeing coming back even stronger now potential top eight spot on the line the gommel buff let's see if it carries over for them as well going to merchant port game one new love versus old love here for tapscott too let's see how this comes out right it's kind of it's kind of a poetic uh matchup to find in your in your way to the first top eight of the season you know it, it wasn't it wasn't worth going to the new character or is this the character uh is your is your old man coming back to haunt you in a way you know i just want to point out on for tap scott that this like pastel mango raster i'm a big fan of this oh yeah no it, it is a gore it is a gorgeous skin i'm, I'm a both fan. of them honestly the uh the 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 however you would describe that that uh orcane skin too is really pretty uh i believe it is the uh pool party orcane that is uh, custom fitted with colors because uh, because of the recent tra uh, changes to um, the recent changes to uh, the customs uh, the custom thing uh, collection. That's awesome. Yeah, and uh, Stephen pointing out that this is actually the uh, the Transrite raster too, which is even cooler. I yeah love oh, love yeah. this stuff. Oh, it just yeah, reminded me of like a, a pastel with the the American the American raster too. So. I'm, yeah, it's been a little bit since I've seen some of these new colors, so forgive me, guys. I apologize. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. You're good. We love trans rights on this house. We also love Sweet Spot Uppy off the yes, top of the Oh, my God. Scrawls on deck. Now get the double nares. Yeah, we're seeing that the, the set prior versus Cake Assault not really affecting Tapscott too much. He's still feeling himself. He's still playing solid. Yeah, even, even a loss against Cake is a chance to collect data. Exactly. Always go for the next time and oh no! If you're if you're bucking in that spot, you feel a little I'm feeling a little white uh, on that one because you never want to lose a stock early against a character like Raster because that means no, you have and to especially approach. to that that, that down air too. It's just like damn it, really? That's what I died to? Yeah, because everyone everyone kind of jokes about like aha, it's Raster's funny. You know, it's the funny down strong. It, it's a mm -hmm. spike, but like no one ever dies to it off stage, right? Because you can just tech the wall. But unfortunately, we've seen, we've seen the tour clips. Yeah, we we've seen them. It's real. It can happen. Bouncy bird. Bouncy oh, bird. almost gets right off the top there. But right now, Tap's got taking a massive lead. Ooh, oh, amazing on that from Bucket was so good. Oh, and gets the forward strong too. 111 is a little bit of a scary percent to be at, but it Raster is one of the lightest characters in the game, Ooh. and it does not matter when you have a when you have an up strong that can kill as early as 60. Yeah, and this is what you're worried about if your tab's got right. Like I had this lead, all right, closes out, close it out. But like you know that you're you're at 38 percent. Then another yeah. hit later, you're at 45 percent. It's just like ah shit, I'm gonna die soon. Yeah, you yeah, before you know it, you're thinking oh goodness, they're starting to dash dance around their puddle. They might be looking for a cheeky little down strong, cheeky little up strong, trying to take me be, out early. You know, cheese the game away from me. But it could be a hundred percent difference, and you're both at kill percent. <laughs> mm-hmm. Truer words have never been spoken, but. We're going to see Bucket counterpicking to Truple Pawn for game number two. See a lot of counterpicks at this stage. And I, I like it because the overhangs are really good and it's also a triplat stage. It gives mm -hmm. characters a lot more diversity in the way they want to recover. Mm -hmm. But well, in the same vein... Go ahead. Oh, in, in the same vein, like, it does mean that like you're going to have to do a lot more work to really keep your opponent off stage. So I, I like it for both the, the recovery mix-ups, but also you have kind of a different way that you can choose to and advance in neutral too, which I'm always a big fan of. 
Well, I mean, once Raster advances on you, Neutron takes the stock. That's kind of it, you know? <laughs> like, once Raster says, hello, how are you doing? He just kind of takes the stock, he turns the dial down one to two, and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, fair mm -hmm. enough. Yeah, if but, Neutron's a conversation, Raster's just screaming at you sometimes. Yeah, and then Orkin kind of decks you in the face for screaming so loud. It's like, come on, dude, shut up. Like, I'm trying to sleep here. Also, shout out to the Grassroots League, Orkane, if I'm if I'm looking at that correctly. That's I believe right, that's, that's right, the, that's right. Uh, it might be, it might be. I It might be a recolor, but it, I believe the um, the puddle is uh, the Grassroots League. But also, we saw right there on that stock, uh, I'll stretch killed at like 7, 60 or something. That means sometimes, you know, uh, 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 up strong punish is all you really need to clean it up. Oh, the read on that recovery to Cavs got feeling themselves. Ah, okay. Yep. And that's kind of the, and that's kind of the downside. It's like Orkane's such a such a hefty character that it is really difficult to like kind of get out of these combo situations. You have to hold in all in a direction, and Raster has the means to chase you down. You know, he's a bird for a reason. Ooh! Oh my god! Shout out to Ray Mysterio, 619 on the clock, and Cap got a 2-0. 2-0, God. Ray Mysterio's a name I haven't heard in so long. I'm Ray Mysterio wonder. and the good people of San Diego, baby. I don't know if you, yes, if you didn't know, that's where that name came from. That's the I area actually, code for San Diego. I did not actually know. That's insane. I'm a wrestling nerd. Uh, but Neo Jules Vale as maybe Bucket's last stand. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we got to see if he has an answer for this aggressive, uh, very, like, in-your-face dash dance style of Raster that Tap Scott's really known for. Man, I love aggressive Raster. Aggressive Raster is such fun to watch, you know. You have this kind of this mid-stage dash dance, this couple character link da dash dance, and then all of a sudden you just disappear. Exactly. And as, as a spectator, you're watching and you're like, yo, this character is amazing. Oh my god. Look at how, like, Why does look at everybody how play oh this my character. no! That's rough. You know, That's the way, rough, Akashi. The way he uh, wave dashed in place made me think, yeah, I'm not about that life anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm a new man now, you know? Like we mentioned before, <laughs> old main versus new main. I'm a changed man. Yeah, I'm not about that. I'm not about the puddle life anymore. You know, I soar through the well, skies. That's kind of the tough spot for Bucket, right? You know, you get this far into bracket and then you have somebody that was like the or Kane for a while. You have someone that knows this character backwards and forwards. So we were wondering if this was going to be an old main versus new main thing. But it also is, you know, does like is, uh, does Tapscott <laughs> know the, still know the tips and tricks? And I mean, he's showing right now that he absolutely still knows everything that Orkane can do. I mean, Tap Scott, ever since like ever since he really got ranked, has always kind of been a consistent top twenty player with Orkane. He's never really been any lower than that, to my recollection. Mm -hmm. So for him, it, it, it's he he knows and he's pushed the character super far. Woo! All right, but gets the upper off the top here from Bucket, and it's last stock game three. But like you said, this is potentially just the tournament stock right now. Oh yeah, if you, yeah, but hang on by a thread. Every hit just closes the door a little more. Man, that was a cheeky jab after that uh, puddle swap. Oh yeah, absolutely. He just just stands there and waits. Like, uh, you, yeah, I, I know you're gonna do it. Come on. But he, he might goes, die for this Akashi. He might actually. And that's the scary part too, because now it's 93% in climbing on this yeah. one edge guard. Now down smash can kill, up air can kill. There it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, that's how it starts. And like you said, sometimes one edge guard is all it takes, and sometimes Raster will just die off of one conversion. Game three going to bucket, but now Tascot has a plethora of counter picks to choose from. Mm. Speaking of dying off of one interaction, we're going to Rockwall, baby. Oh, I love Rockwall. A very scary stage to take certain characters to. Cough, uh, Absa, Cough, Crag, Cough, you know, uh, characters that have uh, carries off the side. But Orkane does have that off the side, too. He's got a back air, you know. It's it's pretty oh. good. I mean, yeah. We've seen Zaro's triple back air, I don't know how many times in brackets. Yeah. I miss Zaro. Oh, uh, here we go! Anyways. Oh, it just goes, just goes for the just goes for the reverse up B there. Interesting, uh, interesting kind of selection. 
I love that. I love that Nair to beat out the bubble. Oh, yep. Goes for the empowered puddle just to reach that high and sends Tapscott off the side. And now Bucket's the one in the lead. Could change at a moment's notice, but let's see how they get out of this situation. Nice air dodge. Knew that wasn't a real situation, a real movement there. Yeah, and we're, we're seeing right now Bucket's uh, starting to adapt to the Arcane, uh, to the Raster, taking, uh, going a lot further away, yeah, running out of the distance of these dash attacks. You're seeing, like... That's so good. Yeah, I was just about to talk about that, man. That is spacing 101. Yeah, if you know your opponent's approaching with the same tool over and over again, you just run away from it, and just, there you go, right there again, just runs back, throws out a droplet just for a little timing mix-up. Honestly, it's the same as if your like components rolling in every time too, right? It's that same similar spacing on it. You're just kind of ready for it, and Bucket looks real comfortable game four. Yeah, it really does right now. But oh, it doesn't get the dare spike. I really oh, also, oh gets the strong hit there. That is gonna do it for the second stock of Tafska right now. Bucket again in the lead. Yeah, this is looking really good, Akashi. I'm a big fan of what Bucket's doing in this game. Yeah, I'm I'm really loving it too right now. Goes for the Super Orca Hop into the puddle, though. Double mix up there. Tap's got waiting to see if maybe it's just going to be the Orca Hop and he has to guard the ledge or if he has to go back to the puddle. But, sweet spot's 27 to 0, definitely doable for either side here. It's just kind of who gets these first couple jabs here. Yeah, the Orcane is a bit heavier of a character. It means that Tapscott's going to have to do just a little more work, but okay, maybe not if he just does that. He goes for the Nair there instead of the dash deck. Oh, as it but still ready. Where did you go? Yo. Put that man on a milk carton. We're going to game five. He said bullet train. Zooming off to the side. And <laughs> you're still my boy, Blue, but that was that was very reminiscent. Blue possessed him for that one moment in time. It was very tragic. Tab Scott said, Skirt, we're going back, baby. Rockwall game five. <laughs> Rockwall game five. And again, that's the chaotic nature of the stage. Like, if any other stage where there's just, like, a little more room off the sides, Tab Scott probably would have lived that backer, even on Rough DI, you know? Oh, uh, you mean the backer that killed him at 67% after the hit? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm, oh, I'm, man. I'm just saying, oh, oh no. I'm just saying, the bubble ball coming through uh, in a big way. Bucket right. taking the first stock, and you, we're, we're you got the see... answer here, Tab Scott. Yeah, this is a lot of adaptations going on right now from uh, from Bucket side of things. A, a massive lead that's slowly dwindling, actually, as Tab Scott keeps landing hit after hit. Man, it's so crazy how quickly this changes because game two, we're talking, man. Here is Akashi, or excuse me, here is Tab Scott. The, the master, the former master of this character. 3-0, this is what we're looking at. And now Bucket's like, uh, excuse me, hello, I have something to say about this. Yeah, he's like, did you, for, did you forget that I was here? And I'm like, I'm sorry. No, I, I was not familiar with your game, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. But like right now, Bucket is just looking for small hits, it seems like. Just, just like. just like nice little one, two hit combos, just to kind of get Tapscott to the nice little percent that he wants. Because again, yeah, like we've seen, mm -hmm. we've seen Sox taking at like 80, which is terrifying, you know. <laughs> there it is. So we've seen uh, Tapscott actually play a little bit further back in these kind of edge guard situations, waiting for that bubble to teleport, and that is why you saw that how quickly that it was stock was taken, and now can he add to this? Well, we're gonna hope. All right, get him off stage, but. Nice little combo. Oh, you saw the yeah, you saw a little downside there. Tried to get cheeky with it. Oh, I tried to go for the double dare spike to seal it out, but unfortunately gets the back hit of it. Yeah. <gasps> you saw he waited for a flinch there. He waited mm -hmm. for something. Yep, he's waiting. Oh, but he's oh, also rolling. Man. Frame seven, baby. Just mash it. But Tapscott comes out on top. Yeah, manages to catch it and clear it out. Three to two over bucket and punches his way into top eight as our last player there. Mm. Bucket that, going on. That's, that's what you want, baby. That is what I love to see. That is Rivals of Aether. And this is season eight. We've been doing this for so long now. But I mean, yeah. every single chapter that gets written is better than the one before. This is how you kick off a tournament. Exactly. And I mean, again, we have to talk about like a lot of the new faces we've seen in top eight between Omar, mm -hmm. uh, CUNY, 
uh, hockey's bucket. Like we have a lot of new people here. Let's it, let's it, talk winter side. You know what were we seeing? You you said you were watching a little bit before this. You know what? Who do we have on winners finals? I like to keep myself uh, fresh when I go into these tournaments. So walk me through what we're looking forward to here in the next couple sets. I believe we are going to be starting off winners semis. We've got the usual suspects of people like uh, I believe Cake Assault. We've got ZB. We've got Kusin. I believe we've got one more person. I'm trying to remember their name because I don't have the bracket pulled up on me right now. But if I were to be a betting man, I would say we're probably going to see Cake Assault versus ZB. Right. And we're going to probably see Kusi versus 